Okay, so hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. And what I got for you today is a small short video explaining how the Spectral Secrets event operates. So earlier this morning for me, the Spectral Secrets event went live. And for those who've been playing Genshin since launch, you already know what to do for this event. It's the Catherine Expedition event. But for those who are coming new to the game or first time seeing this event, you're gonna get a little quest to talk to Catherine. And I'm pretty sure you talk to any Catherine depending on the zone you're in. But I was in Inazuma, so I talked to the Inazuma Catherine. And once you talk to her a bit, she'll take you over to a menu that you can easily get back to by just clicking on Dispatch Character on Expedition. And then up here, you'll get a second tab called, obviously the initial one is the Dispatch, and then the second one is the Spectral Secrets. And this is quite a cool and simple event. So they've obviously evolved it with its second release, but the initial and kind of base gameplay of it is you select one of these missions, uh, you select characters to go on them like this and then you can send characters off so like here though it does say recommended elements electro and geo so let's just do that they have like an increased success rate does it actually show the success rate on this uh, like it did before i don't think it does i can't see a success rate number so it doesn't actually even show the success rate like it did before but with the difference in characters you're getting different rewards so 15 primos here two to six of these uh, little uh, sanctifying unctions. Uh, so if we put, let's say, any random characters on, we get 15 and four. But if we put on the right elements, we get all the way up to six. So that's a bit of an incentive to actually put on the correct and recommended elements per mission, is uh, just always match these elements if you have them. It doesn't seem like level plays a role in it. Uh, let me just check. I mean, Electro, all my Electro characters, so see she's 40. Uh, so that and then where's another geo character that isn't okay i only have a high level geo character okay so it doesn't seem like level plays a massive part in it let's just jump over to another one to see if there's a difference in element so here you need three characters it does say uh or required two but you can get three just for the recommended stuff and let's say we put on uh cryo animo geo cryo uh where's sucrose animo and then we just do uh, her for geo there you go so if you just match the elements, it'll work out just fine. You'll get the maximum reward. But going on to the part that's actually changed, it seems that daily you will get a different preliminary investigation to unlock, which is the S rank mission, which gives you the most rewards here. Because uh, the S ranks and then both the A ranks give you primo gems. So jumping into what this means, so you need to click here on the S rank and then conduct preliminary investigation and it'll tell you where to go. And then you just have to go and uh, go to this area and just pretty much do what it tells you. So let's just jump over and do that. And once you get here, you'll be greeted with a bit of a challenge that you have to do. So I have to here charge three electric lamps using an electro grana. So it's right here. And I have to charge these three little things here. And I'm not sure if this is gonna be the same for everyone. I'm just gonna go under the assumption that it is. And so you just have to wanna pick up that electro grana and run around a bit looking for those little rocks in the ground to charge up. Obviously, you want to stay within the circle because that's the only area that they can spawn in. Uh, but this is actually kind of uh, difficult because I can't seem to find it. But we're going. Oh, is that one up there? I think it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay, I see him. Okay. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it would be near the electrogram. Okay, so there's another one up here on this rock. Charge that, and then there's one over here by the shore, kind of beach area. And then that, I assume, will spawn the enemies that you have to fight. Okay. Not bad. So far, good speed. And obviously, you're going to be fighting the Spectre enemies because pretty much this event is centered around the Spectres because it's called Spectral Secrets. Obviously, not the hardest enemy, but also not the easiest, seeing as they do have a lot of HP. But these ones seem to be going down pretty quickly, even though I'm not sure why. Okay, I don't want that. Oh, and there we go. That is the end of the preliminary expedition. So now what you want to do is just jump back to Catherine. And once you jump back to Catherine here, you'll talk to her again, obviously going to the expedition thing. And the S rank mission will be unlocked for you to send your characters on and start getting the primos rocking in. And in this one, also, you get guide to transients, which is actually a cool reward as well. So you just jump into here and it says you need pyro and electro, two people required. Another cool thing that you can do is if you have some friends on your friends list that have really good characters or really cool characters, on top of that useful, you can actually do this as well. 
So here I have a bunch of people with Raiden Shogun and Hu Tiao. And I need Pyro and or Electro. So I'm just going to take one of my friends here. Use his Baal right there. Then I'm also going to go into my thing. And I'll use my own D Luke. And with this, if I now dispatch this, I'll get 12, uh, 20, sorry. 20 Primo Gems and 3 Transients. That insufficient people dispatched. Okay, cool. So you need to send two of your own people. So that's a moderately moderately kind of a odd, but whatever. So now we have to add our own two people in. Expedition rating, perfect. There you go. Dispatch that 11 hours and 59 minutes. So 12 hours, you'll get your rewards. Now I just sent all my guys out really quickly. So uh, we'll do Electro Geo. Friend rating, perfect. Or Expedition rating, perfect. Here we got another thing. What do we need? Electro Cryo. So we'll go Kaching, ka uh, Chong Yun, I guess. Dispatch. And then we can do one B. This will give us a handful of extra primos. And what do I want from the B? I think the Narukami's Wisdom is probably the most useful thing there. Uh, we need Animo, Electro, and Geo. So we'd send uh, the big three right here. Look at these guys. The Chads of the game. Dispatch that. And there you have it. That is pretty much the Spectral Secrets event. They've changed that up quite a bit with this whole expedition thing. And now instead of it being a percentage, they give you a rating on the success rate pretty much. And at this point, you should have a lot of characters if you've been playing the game for a while. If you haven't been playing the game for a while, you might find this event slightly more difficult because you might not have the correct characters to get the correct elements and then also to funnel into getting the maximum rewards. But I think they've solved the issue of having success rate issues. That was a thing back in the day where people didn't have certain characters at certain levels. And it was very hard to get 100% success rate. But in the end, the event is not going to be that difficult because it's a very straightforward event. You go to the expedition site, you solve the expedition, then you'll come back and send your characters out. That's pretty much all I'm going to say on this event. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful, hit that like button. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit that subscribe button. Remember everyone, have an amazing day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.